Welcome to Sir Wayne's Accounting Lectures. Today, magkakaroon tayo ng pen and paper video problem solving patungkol sa Lecture 04, Goods in Transit. Actually, nasa description ng video lecture na ito yung mismong problem under discussion. Kung gusto mong sagutan ng solo at balikan ang problem na ito kapag tapos ka na, mas mabuti. Kasi, ang accounting ay natututunan not by mere listening but actually by you doing the problem solving. Pero kung may sagot ka na nga, simulan na natin. So again, lecture 02, Goods in Transit. So here is our problem. The following are the related freight costs and shipping terms of buyer company and seller company whose trading transactions are on account. So given po yung apat na case. Okay? So requirement, journal entries on the books of buyer company and seller company. Okay? So related dun sa kanilang freight transaction. Para ma-emphasize yung topic nga natin about goods in transit. Siyempre, we will assume that buyer company is the one who buys and seller company is the one who sells. Okay? So gawin na po natin. By the way, itong ating ano, solution sheet, nag-provide po tayo dito ng dalawang part, okay? Yung kay buyer and then yung kay seller. So, kasi parehas pinapagawa yung journal entry, depende sa point of view. Okay, so number one, the freight charge is 20,000. The shipping terms is FOB shipping point and freight collect. Question, question, who will shoulder the freight? Diba ang sabi, depende dito sa, sa FOB terms na to. At kapag ka shipping point, the ownership of the goods is transferred at the point of shipment. Therefore, si buyer na ang may-ari nung paninda. Therefore, si buyer ang magre-record ng freight. So for number one, we are going to debit freight in sa point of view ni buyer. Amounting to 20,000. Okay? At ngayon, yung cash payment ay dinidetermine ng freight collect or freight prepaid. Sa pagkakataong ito, freight collect. Isipin natin na saan ang lugar ni carrier, freight collect. Sabi nila, mangungwalikta na lang sila the moment na dumating na. Okay, dun sa pupuntahan nung sasakyan. So basically, galing yun sa kay seller, going to buyer, kay buyer ang pupuntahan, si buyer din ang magbabayad ng freight kapag ka freight collect. Therefore, we are going to credit cash, amounting to 20,000. That would be the entry from the point of view of buyer company. Ngayon sa point of view ni seller, what will be our entry? The answer is, there will be no entry. Why? Okay, the buyer must shoulders the freight. The buyer actually pays the freight. Therefore, for the point, from the point of view of the seller, there will be no entry. Okay? Now, let's move on with case number 2. Under case number 2, Okay, the freight charge is 18,000. The term is FOB destination, freight prepaid. Okay, the FOB determines who are going to shoulders the freight, therefore record it. Destination. Ang sabi, the ownership of the goods is transferred at the point of destination. So basically, habang nagbabiyahe, na kanino pa ang ownership? Malamang na kay seller pa. Kasi ita-transfer pa pagdating. Therefore, the seller uh, is the one who will, who will go, going to record the freight. Okay, by the way, number one pala to. So number two, okay, transaction. We are going to debit freight, okay, sa side ni seller. Ngayon, dahil siya seller, hindi po freight in ang gagamitin. But rather, the terminology is freight out. Okay, amounting to 18,000. Okay, so yun na. Anong gagawin ni, ni buyer dito? Wala. Kasi isa lang. Next, freight prepaid. Okay? Anong ibig sabihin nito? Bago umalis ang carrier, kailangan bayaran na. Okay? Kasi nga, prepaid. You pay first before we, we deliver. Something like that. Okay? Ngayon, sino ang gagawa nun? Babayaran bago umalis. Malamang nasa lugar ni seller yun. That's why it is the seller who actually pays the freight. Therefore, the seller is the one who is going to credit cash for 18,000. So that's the entry from the point of view of the seller. Now, from the point of view of the buyer, is there any entry? The answer is there is no entry. Why? Because there is no accounting problem. Ano natin nasabi na walang accounting problem? Okay? Kasi the one who actually shoulders the freight, which is the seller, and the one who actually pays the freight, okay, is also the seller. Okay? So therefore, pareha sa kanya. Kaya walang gagawin yung kabila. Now, let's move on with number three. Okay? 
Freight charge is 27,000. The shipping terms is FOB shipping point freight prepaid. Question, who are going to record the freight? Okay, who is the owner? Okay, sabi dito, the ownership will be transferred at the point of shipment. Therefore, dun pa lang sa pantala na seller, ipinasa na kay buyer ang ownership. Therefore, it is the buyer who is going to record the freight. From the point of view of the buyer, uh, he is going to debit freight in. Kasi nga siya ang namimili. Okay, amounting to 27,000. Now, who actually pays the freight? It is the Freight prepaid, it will determine, uh, yun yun natin na malalaman kung sino yung totoong nagbayad. Okay, yun yung magdidetermine nun. So, freight prepaid, bago pa umalis, binayaran na yung carrier. Sino nagbayad nun? The answer is the seller. So, the seller is going to credit. Ngayon, there is accounting problem now. Okay, kasi nga, the, the seller will actually pays the freight. Okay, but the buyer must shoulders the freight. Nagkahiwala yung freight in at saka yung cash. Ang ibig ko sabihin, nandito kasi yung credit. Okay? Credit cash for 27,000 magkahiwala eh. Kailangan ng kapartner, wala naman kasi journal entry na iisa. Okay, sa point of view ni buyer, ang kapartner niyan ay accounts payable. Kasi si buyer automatically siya yung namili at ang sabi, their transaction is usually on account. So therefore, may utang siya. Okay, ngayon, pwede pa rin gamitin niya accounts payable na yan. At sa point of view naman na seller, ang kapartner niya ay accounts receivable. Hindi naman po nababago yung partner na yan, lagi yung ganyan. Okay, lagyan muna natin yung amount. Okay? Then explain natin bakit nga siya nagkaganon. Sa point of view kasi ni buyer, siya daw dapat ang magbayad ng freight. Siya ang magbabayad. Okay, lagyan muna natin number 3 ulit. So sa point of view ni buyer, dapat siya ang magbabayad ng freight. Pero ang totoong nakapagbayad ay sino? Si seller. So ang sabi niya, ako dapat ang magbabayad, binayaran mo, therefore may utang na naman ako sa'yo. So therefore, credit accounts payable, 27,000. Sa point of view naman ni seller, halos ganun din. Okay, hindi ako ang dapat magbabayad, pero ako ang nagbayad. Therefore, sisingiling ko yan sa'yo, sabi ni seller. Debit accounts receivable. Okay, yun. Now, let's move on with the last one. Last scenario, case 4. Freight charge is 11,000. The shipping terms is FOB destination and freight collect. Doon muna tayo sa destination. Who is going to record the freight? Okay, destination, the ownership transferred at the point of destination. So, meaning, habang nagbabiyahe, it is the seller who owns the goods kasi hindi pa natatransfer. Pagdating pa daw. Okay, if the seller owns the goods, the seller must record the freight. Therefore, yung ating case number 4, it is the seller who records, okay, who must shoulders the freight. Dahil seller siya, ang account title po ay freight out. Okay? Amounting to 11,000. Now, okay, ang sabi dito, sino ang nagbayad? Freight collect. Okay, freight collect means kukolektahin pa yung pamasahe ni carrier the moment na dumating na dun sa pupuntahan. Kaya nga, hindi prepaid but rather collect. Okay, therefore na kaninong lugar yung opisina ang sagot na kay buyer. So, ibig ko sabihin, the one who, who actually, yung totoo the actually pays the freight is the buyer. So, therefore, the buyer credits cash. Okay? Siya po ang nag-credit cash amounting to 11,000. Ano ang problema? Hindi na naman pa pwedeng ganyan. Tigisa na naman yung journal entry. So therefore, kailangan natin dagdagan ng isa pang account. So ano gagawin po natin? Sa point of view na buyer, hindi naman nababago yung pang partner. That would be accounts payable. 11,000. Mamaya natin explain kung bakit. At sa point of view naman na seller, credit accounts receivable for 11,000. Okay, now why? Why is that? Okay? Dito muna tayo kay buyer. Ang sabi ni buyer, hindi ako ang dapat magbabayad ng freight. Pero ako ang aktual na nagbayad ng freight. Therefore, uh, the buyer credits cash. Yeah? Nga lang, pwede niyang kolektahin yun, di ba, kay seller. Okay, pwede niyang kolektahin yun. Kasi hindi dapat siya magbabayad. Nga lang itong problema. May utang din siya kay seller. So, anong sabi ni buyer? Ay, may utang pala ako sa'yo. Therefore, ikaw dapat ang magbayad ng 11,000. Anong gagawin natin? Ibawas na lang dun sa utang ko. Kaya nakadebit ang accounts payable. Hindi ko na i-refund sa'yo. But rather, ibawas mo na lang sa utang ko. Sabi naman ni seller, natural. Ganun talaga. May utang ka kasi. Okay? So again, sa point of view ni seller, okay, siya daw dapat ang mag-shoulder ng freight. Kaya siya talaga ang magre-record ng freight out. Okay? Nga lang, 
hindi siya ang nakapagbayad. Okay? Kasi nga, si Bayer. So, ang sabi ni seller, sige, uh, may utang ka naman sa akin, may receivable ako sa iyo. Okay? Sa halip na bayaran kita, bababas na lang natin dun sa utang mo. So, that's why ang nakakredit ay accounts receivable in this particular scenario. So, ang punto po, punto po natin, may pagkakataon na nade-debit ang accounts receivable or nakikredit, ganun din yung accounts payable. Okay? Depende sa scenario. Pero ang punto, hindi yan napabago kung sakaling hiwalay. Maraming nahihirapan dito sa freight accounting, pero sa tingin ko naman, basta alam mo lang yung, ano, yung concept, makakasagot ka. Okay? Yan na po. Lahat na po yan. Wala nang maiiba dyan. Intindihin mo na lang, depende dun sa tanong ng problem. May technique pa nga patay tayo, di ba? Basta letter, ano, S at saka C. Kulot, di ba? Kapartner niya yung tuwid si buyer. Okay? Kaya ganun. Pag naman parehas tuwid, okay? Malamang kay seller yun. At saka ang isa pa, okay? Ang gagawin mo lang kung sakaling ang nagkahiwalay, let's say isang kulot, isang tuwid, ibigay mo. Huwag mong, huwag mong tapusin yung journal. Tigisa lang. Tsaka ka mag-isip. After that, tsaka mo partneran. Hindi naman nababagay yung pang partner. Kung gusto niyo po ng technique. Okay, so I believe nata natapos na po yung ating ano, uh, pagsasagot ng problem. Inulit ko na naman yung discussion about sa technique. So yun lamang at maraming salamat.